welcome to another day in the life of guys so <clears throat> it's november 12th and i got letters back so let's open them starting off we have university of delaware so i applied to delaware because a lot of my friends were applying here and also it was just kind of a safety school option for me okay let's open her up okay let's see Oh my god, I got in. Okay, so got into Delaware. Look how cute this is. This like little flag that I got. If I went to University of Delaware, I would be studying in communications. So yeah, that is the first acceptance that I got. Woo! I'm so excited. This was one of my safety schools. So sorry, I just was on the phone with my dad. Um, I got into Alabama. I'm so excited. I visited Alabama my junior year for spring break. Went with my mom. The campus is like amazing. And like I could literally like, cry because I feel like this school is just like, I don't know. I just really like, the whole process has been super exciting. And I'm really interested to see like where else I'm going to get in and then kind of figure it out from there. But I will say Alabama is definitely my top three. I loved Alabama. Everybody there is just so nice. Obviously, I got into the major I want, which is marketing. I got this big, like, thing with a little magnet. I got this, like, pamphlet with a bunch of, like, dates and stuff on it. I think I'm going to put my housing deposit in for here just in case. Came with this little bookie thing. As of right now, those are the two schools I've heard back from. I was gonna apply to Maryland, but I decided not to because I just like don't wanna wait till February 1st to know if I got in or not. So yeah, I didn't even apply there. I was just like, I'm not gonna apply there. Hi guys, so December 1st, which means Clemson, early action decisions are back. And so I'm gonna open my laptop and I'm gonna view it. Before I do though, I just wanna say like, this is not my top school. If I had a top school, I would've done early decision, but I just did early action for like most of the schools. And overall, I wanna say, if you don't get into a school, like don't be like down on yourself. It's hard. The application process for certain schools is extremely competitive. And for one of them, I believe is Clemson. Clemson has a really competitive of application process they have a lot of applicants I did not apply with an SAT or anything I literally just did my GPA okay so <laughs> I just opened my Clemson portal and I got moved to the regular decision date so I got deferred but that's okay because it's like not my top school that school is hard to get into kind of but yeah okay there's that okay so editing Cameron here um I applied to Clemson I got deferred and I ended up not even getting into the school, which really sucked because I wanted to get in there. But I believe the reason why I didn't get into Clemson is because I didn't submit an SAT score. And I think that school in particular likes to see scores. So no matter if you have a good GPA, definitely send in your scores for your SAT or ACT. I would definitely recommend just learning experience. And I feel like a few of the other schools that I applied to you definitely should be submitting your test scores. Hey guys, so I just opened my letter from South Carolina and I wanna show you guys because I got into South Carolina and I'm so excited. It says, Dear Cameron, it is my pleasure to congratulate you on your admission to the University of South Carolina and welcome you to our Gamecock family. You've been accepted into the College of Information and Communications with the intended major of Mass Communications for the fall 2023 semester. So that's so exciting and my acceptance it came with all of these super cute stickers, which is so fun so love them my acceptance i also got this as well so i always keep this stuff just because like i want to show my kids one day like you know because i think it's so cool and interesting and yeah so got that so i'm so excited um so that's just another school 
that I got into. This has been a journey for sure. Also, I just wanted to say before I wrap up this video, um, I did get into Penn State. I also did get into the College of Charleston. I originally was not going to post this video, and then I decided I wanted to, and I deleted the footage of me getting into Penn State. I literally can't find it. I don't know where it is, and then I never recorded, like, my getting into College of Charleston, because, again, I wasn't going to post this video, so, yeah. Hi, guys. So, we are back, and I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of advice I have for all of you guys that are in high school currently, or honestly, just to give you my personal, like, story on why I chose the college I'm going to, which, if you did not know, I am attending the University of Alabama in the fall, and I am so excited, you guys. I just wanted to share a little bit about my personal experience when it came to college applications and how that all kind of like worked for me and I also want to share what I did in high school and my stats um, just to give you guys a general idea like where I got in and where I didn't get in so yeah I just want to share you know all that good stuff so to start um, one of the reasons why I chose the University of Alabama is because when I visited the campus, the campus just felt like home. It was very easy. Like, I could just see myself going to class, walking to class. It was just an easy environment for me. And so I really, really enjoyed my kind of trip to Tuscaloosa when I went with my mom last year when I was a junior. I actually would really recommend going and touring schools your freshman, sophomore year to kind of get an idea of what schools you actually like and which schools you don't because it's not only expensive to make the travel to go to like other states and stuff, it just like kind of helps with the motivation process. So yeah, I just really liked Alabama and I just felt like that was the school for me and it just felt very like home vibe and I just saw myself there and I fell in love with everything about the school and the school had everything I was looking for. I did love Florida State. I loved Florida State. I did not apply to Florida State and I also loved Georgia. I didn't apply to Georgia. Those are the other two schools that like I was so obsessed with and loved. Obviously Georgia and Alabama are extreme rivals but yeah I also just thought that like I felt the most comfortable. The flight's not very long. It connected like with a lot of people through social media and was talking to a lot of girls about the school and everything and it just felt the most suitable for me and what I was looking for in a school. Now that you guys know where I'm going to school, I'm going to talk a little bit about some advice I have for your applications, things I wish I could have done in high school. I had a weird high school experience because of COVID. The pandemic definitely threw off my freshman and my sophomore year, for sure. My freshman year, I went to a public school and I loved cheerleading and everything. And if you guys remember like my videos back like three years ago, kind of when my YouTube channel was really taking off, I was a very different person then. I think my videos showed a lot of my personality, but off camera when I wasn't filming, I was very depressed and I was just like not in a great mindset. I had no motivation to do any schoolwork or anything like that. I never paid attention in class. Like I was not like how I am now. Like, I am such a different person now. It's actually crazy. My mom and my dad, we decided that it was the best idea for me to transfer to a different school. And it wasn't another public school. It was actually a private school. And the only reason that we thought it was best was because when the pandemic hit, like, my freshman year, school wasn't doing anything really about the pandemic. It was just a very unmotivating time in my life. So my parents just decided, like, it was best for me to transfer. So once I transferred my sophomore year, like, I was so shocked. It was almost like a cultural reset because I was surrounded by people that actually cared about what they were doing and learning. You know, it was definitely a lot harder for me to transition to a different school and everything especially like online like that was really hard but just kind of transitioning to a different school was the best decision for me because I think I ultimately grew as a person and I think also I matured a lot just created better friendships and I have a great relationship with a lot of my teachers which I'm going to miss a lot of them a lot like I could actually start crying because I just am so happy with the high school that I went to graduation is definitely going to be very emotional for me um just because there's like so much that I loved about my high school. I was not involved in really any sports. 
honestly. Like, I did competitive gymnastics, like, for a very long time, and then I cheered. And I just didn't cheer at the high school I'm at. I didn't cheer anything. So, like, I wasn't really involved in that much. I did play field hockey for a little. So, things I'm involved in. I'm involved in the French Honor Society, and I've been involved in that society since I was a sophomore. I was inducted in my sophomore year. I took French four years. Um, honors French four. That's what I'm in right now. I'm almost on the class. So, it's been fun. I made it through. So, yeah. And I love my French teacher so much. I'm going to miss her so much. She has helped me through so much, and she's, like... A mom in a way like I just love her so I will miss her a lot and then I'm also in the service honor society I've done over a hundred service hours within the last like year or two so I got inducted into that society I'm also in the national like scholars honor society in Maryland and then I also have a cumulative GPA um, so I have first honors for that so I have a 4-2 and I also was involved in like a few clubs and stuff as well that's just like some of the stuff that I was involved in but if I could go back and do anything differently about school I don't know if I would do any sports still and the only reason I say that is because I work out like a lot after school and I rather spend time after school like working out and working like I worked all this year I also do social media obviously that takes up a lot of my time as well so when I was filling out my college applications I made sure to like emphasize that I do social media and like how many hours I spend a week editing or creating content I also mentioned like brands I've worked with because that's a lot about me and that's things that I do outside of school that are just as important and it's important for like the colleges to see that and know that yeah I may not be doing a lot involvement with the school but outside of school I'm still doing a lot behind the scenes but if there's one thing I could change, I think I'd want to be involved in SGA at my school. But other than that, like, there's not really anything else that I would change. So just some advice I have. If you're, you know, about to apply for colleges, I'd really recommend just make sure that you have a little bit of everything in your application. I think it's just important because your grades are not the only thing that's going to get you into a college like they want to see involvement and in what you do within your community and within your school so whether it's you know you've been playing lacrosse since you were a freshman or you know like you've been in the woman empowerment club since you were a sophomore or you started a club or like you're involved in theater or whatever it may be like that's all super important and schools are gonna see that. It's the same thing with high school, like colleges wanna see like how involved you are and I think that also just shows how much you care for the high school that you go to because that's how you're gonna be like in college, I guess. When I did my college essay and all that, like my college essay I wrote about my YouTube channel and my doing social media and why I do it and how that relates to my future and also with like marketing because I'm majoring in marketing at Alabama. Like I talked about all of that in my college essay and I think for the colleges that accept college essays because not every school like requires certain things like a lot of schools are test optional or they don't even require an essay like Alabama didn't require an essay but like I think South Carolina did require an essay so for my college essay I talked about social media and how it's impacted my life and how I feel like I've grown as a person throughout the years all that because I wanted the I guess person that was looking at my application to really know a little bit more about me and what I I've been doing. <laughs> it says Bama Bound on it because I'm going in June at the end of the month and I already have roommates and everything, which I'm so excited. I'm starting to buy like my decor and everything for my dorm, which is so exciting. But I have this box that my aunt got me and she got like stuff for. Alabama that's in here, but I'm using this to put all of my stuff in. I do something at my school. Um, we have to go to like senior retreats because I do go to Catholic school and it's a very special retreat and my family members wrote my letters basically just kind of acknowledging like everything I've done and they're very special. So these are in here. I also have my senior picture, which I'll show you guys. I need to get more printed out. But there's my senior picture. And then I have, like, my friend's senior pictures in this bag. This is the flag I got from Charleston. I knew a flag. <laughs> but yeah, and then I just have, like, all of my letters and stuff that I got that I received. This is so cute. It's, um, 
the Bama Bound little car that you get. Like I got into Penn State, so I have that. Oh my God, South Carolina like gave me these stickers and they are so freaking cute. I would recommend to just keep your letters and stuff because I think it's very special. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any other like questions about anything, leave them in the comments and I will let you know my insight and I'll help you guys out. Love you guys and I will see you in my next video.